Hey y'all, it's the Southern Woods here, and welcome to another Ages of Conflict simulation. I know what y'all were thinking. Y'all were wondering, so what would happen if all the interior states in the U.S. just kind of flooded over to where there's only border states left? Well, in this uh, scenario, let's say the Great Plains Aquifer that's underground just kind of bubbles up over the surface and takes over all the interior states. So now what we got going on is a big ocean, essentially, or massive lake um, in the middle of the U.S. So we have 32 states left. We have most of the northeast, the east coast, west coast going on, the northern states that border um, Canada, and then the southern states as well. So, you know, South Dakota's gone, Wyoming's gone, uh, Nebraska's gone. All those flyover states essentially are underwater. So let's get this <coughs> apologize simulation going and see what happens with it. All right. So already you see battle for these waterways across this new massive ocean, um, and then this Gulf essentially too. We have people declaring war and joining alliances already. North Carolina is at war with Georgia going for Atlanta. The first state to fall, however, is going to be Maryland, conquered by New Jersey. Idaho's getting ganged up on. Oh, Rhode Island just fell to Massachusetts, so contentious battles in the Northeast already. Ohio's going against Michigan right now. Montana against North Dakota. Georgia just fell to North Carolina. They were able to get down the Appalachian Mountain and take over Atlanta. <coughs> oh, man. And now Connecticut conquered by New York. Ohio conquered by Michigan. Already some states going. Alabama may be next. Mississippi and Florida ganging up on Alabama. Yes, Alabama is no longer in this simulation. Mississippi and Florida get bigger. Ooh, a lot going on early. All right, and now Florida fell. North Carolina just swarming down south, taking out everyone in its path, it seems like. Meanwhile, Mississippi trying to get former Alabama completely. There is 25 nations left already. Let's look at some of these uh, statistics. By size, Texas is the largest, followed by California, then North Carolina, because, I mean, <laughs> look at this thing. Uh, talking about economy, Texas is the richest, followed by California, and then actually Arizona. And then some alliances going on. We, ha we have the Montana <coughs> Alliance, which is California, Oregon, Montana, New Mexico, and Texas. Pretty big one. Uh, and then you have the Virginia Coalition with Virginia and North Carolina going on as well. And there's a couple others. So let's just uh, see where this continues to go. Idaho looks like they'll be the next to fall. Um, yes, Oregon technically the one to take them out, but Montana benefits greatly from that, expanding its uh, southwestern border. Mississippi tried to go against North Carolina, um, but they get dealt a harsh blow. Louisiana taking on Texas. <coughs> I apologize, I'm a little sickly. Uh, Pennsylvania conquered by New Jersey, so New Jersey kind of looking a little big here in the northeast comparatively. Uh, Texas just falling apart against Louisiana, which marching westward is going to take out Texas. Uh, that's probably a big upset. Texas usually does well in these simulations. So Louisiana looking long. New Jersey uh, short-lived. They were conquered by Delaware. South Carolina being engulfed by North Carolina. Um, it looks like North Carolina going to expand even further. Yep. Goodbye, South Carolina. We have 20 nations left. All right, North Dakota, Montana, we're going at it for a minute. Wisconsin flooding into Michigan right now through a waterway and through one of the uh, Great Lakes, which is, uh, I guess, now one big cove. I don't know. But Michigan does fall to Wisconsin. Wisconsin's going to get most of that. Virginia, a little bit. We have Mississippi and North Carolina going at it once again. Arizona fighting back New Mexico and California. New Mexico may fall to Arizona. 
Yep, New Mexico Falls, Arizona, and Louisiana racing for that. But while Louisiana was distracted, North Carolina swept into New Orleans and took them over. So North Carolina just getting massive, getting that uh, southern border, that southern coast. Mississippi going to get some of that. Arizona now massive as well. Maine conquered by Massachusetts up here um, in the northeast. Uh, Vermont didn't last long either. They're getting conquered by New York. We have... 15 nations left now already um, looking at this alliance map uh, the Treaty of Wisconsin actually the biggest now Texas or I, I guess now Mississippi and Arizona uh, left the Montana Pact which is now this uh, northwest portion of the US and then you have the Virginia Coalition which is all this east coast northeast uh, talking about economy Oregon the richest technically followed by North Carolina and then Montana, actually, talking about size, Arizona, of course, massive now, followed by North Carolina, and then Wisconsin. Interesting to see where this uh, goes. Looks like uh, New Hampshire was getting ganged up on, but they're going to go ahead and nearly take out Massachusetts, which is very uh, border gored up and split up. Yep, Massachusetts is done for. New Hampshire saying, let's just go ahead and take out New York uh, as well. Highly contentious battle around the capital of New York. And yep, they're going to take out New York. New Hampshire now sole control of that northeastern corner. All right, Mississippi actually fighting back a little bit against North Carolina, trying to split them up. Meanwhile, California about to get taken over by Arizona, it seems. They will. Oregon's going to get some of that. Virginia losing a lot of its Appalachian range. All right, Virginia, New Hampshire teaming up against Wisconsin, who's been a little formidable at times. We're now a little over 50 years into this, uh, this alternate scenario now where there is 12 states left. These battles are only going to get more contentious from here, I imagine. Montana finally trying to push <coughs> North Dakota off the map. We'll see if it happens here in the next few decades. North Carolina overran Mississippi. Mississippi just couldn't handle it. The constant pressure. North Carolina, strong front runner. I think in one of our previous scenarios, they had a pretty deep run as well. North Carolina, a little underrated, I suppose. Now they have their eyes set on Arizona. Wisconsin trying to send their allies some aid. Highly contentious battle in former Arizona. Arizona has got to choose a front. Because it looks like North Carolina is about to invade and take over, which has been the case. Arizona moves its capital to uh, somewhere in former California. We have a big naval battle in this little odd spot in Virginia. Washington united with Oregon. They've assimilated. Arizona is now basically southern half of California now. They have lost a lot of their territory to the very strong North Carolina Arizona marching up former California a little bit, entering the former San Francisco Bay Area. North Carolina now uh, propelling their naval invasion up into Montana and North Dakota. They just don't give a darn. Arizona has went past the San Francisco Bay Area, flooding into Oregon, getting some assistance from their allies. Montana's trying to fund Oregon, saying fend them off, but Arizona has now reestablished former California territory completely, and they want more. Pushing into Portland. North Carolina now has a little skirmish going on uh, with Wisconsin and Appalachia. Arizona has fallen. North Carolina and Oregon are going to get a lot of that. Oregon using this uh, newfound territory to uh, try to <coughs> push into Montana. Meanwhile, Delaware has united into New Hampshire. They have just given up and saying, we'll be 
become New Hampshireans. I don't know if that's the proper term. I apologize for anyone in New Hampshire. Or from New Hampshire. California has been a very big hot spot of war. All throughout the state. Former state, that is. <coughs> Virginia is getting bullied by New Hampshire and North Carolina. Meanwhile, Wisconsin pushing into North Carolina, or attempting to. It's a tough feat. North Carolina has been the front runner this whole time. North Dakota said, fuck it, we're now part of Montana. North Carolina had to move their capital to Atlanta. They're finally starting to uh, lose some ground here. They may have gobbled up too much territory too fast over this 170-so year span. They're now in a two-prong war against Oregon and Wisconsin. But look at this. They've landed into Montana. Their naval invasion finally successful. Montana now falls to North Carolina. They get a lot of that land and economy. They're able to push back against Oregon and Wisconsin, who are desperately trying to put them down. We now have New Hampshire teaming up with North Carolina against Wisconsin. Portland will fall any second. And Oregon is gone. We have three nations left. North Carolina with this big sideways horseshoe territory. Wisconsin struggling because New Hampshire is saying, fuck Wisconsin. We're teaming up with North Carolina here. They're trying so hard. But Wisconsin... Looking like, looking like they, they are going to fall here in a little bit. They are trying ever so desperately. They're putting up a good fight defending what little land they have left. I just don't know how longer it's going to take. But hey, <coughs> what do we have here? Different alliances going back and forth. Um, but it looks like it ended up switching back to what it had been. They have finally ran out of economy. Wisconsin is out of here. It is now New Hampshire, North Carolina. What will happen? There are some years of peace, it seems like. Are they content with this? No. New Hampshire flooding into North Carolina. Whoa. North Carolina about to have to move their capital, probably, from Atlanta. New Hampshire creeping up on them. Oh, they decided to move their capital to, like, Jacksonville. Interesting. North Carolina finally reclaiming a lot of that lost territory. New Hampshire could only go on the offensive for so long. New Hampshire looks like they're finally about to fall. They're having to switch capitals in a burned or... Fuck, whatever. North Carolina wins this simulation. If the Great Plains Aquifer rose up, took out all the flyover states, and buried them underwater, uh, North Carolina would end up uh, taking over all of America. So hit me with that like button if you like the scenario. I thought it was a little different. Uh, give me suggestions if you want to see your scenario possibly put up on this channel. And if you want to see more of these videos, hit the subscribe button and join the Southern Woods community. I apologize. I'm having some respiratory uh, ailments going on, so uh, I was a little wheezy throughout, a little shaky. But thanks for bearing with me if you made it to the end. Southern Woods out.